Thank you for taking the time to look and listen to this demonstration of our computerized performance appraisal system. This system is very different in that it focuses purely on performance coming out of the appraisal system. Here are four good reasons why you should continue to listen and look at this demonstration. The first reason is using this system will be 50% cheaper to operate than any standard performance appraisal system. And as we're in the time of an economic downturn, it makes good sense to focus your time and effort on things that really are going to make a difference. The second reason is that the program sets out and measures specifically performance. Performance standards are set and very accurately measured and management information flows from that making you fully aware of what the performance standards are within your organization by department or by section or by company. The third reason is that it measures competency levels. It measures the key competency levels of each employee in a very fast and simple method and it shows you those scores on screen as well as giving you vital management information. And finally, number four, this fully automates training needs analysis. No longer will you have to do complicated and lengthy training needs analysis with the possibility of getting it wrong or sending people on the wrong training courses. This system automatically takes that information and turns it, where necessary, into training requests. A year later, the score is then compared against the new score to show you what benefit the organization has received from the training. So if you're interested in looking at the return on investment on training, once again, this system will give it to you fully automated. Well, let's have a look at the screen and what it looks like. The first part of the screen shows the employees, and we have three just as an example here. Um, these can be broken down by section or by department depending on who is actually doing the performance appraisal. Probably the most important is the next section which is performance on the job. Managers always find this traditionally very very difficult to do and what we're looking look at is to set some key objectives for the managers to set their employees and here we've got some examples and the manager has given a score for each of the boxes on what he expects the employee to be able to achieve during the year. So in the first box we're looking at a target score of 70, the second 20 and the third 10 and as the year progresses the manager can measure performance about those preset targets. Now if you want to set lots of objectives then that's fine and the target scores would change for each of the objectives. But the total target score would always come up to 100 shown at the bottom of the column. And this 100 score will be measured against what the person has actually achieved. So we're looking at achievements which will always be measured out of 100. The reason for this is it is statistically sound using the old-fashioned method of ticks boxes is not sound enough at all nor is it accurate enough so you'll be able to compare performance data by section by department and show clearly year by year how performance has improved stayed the same or declined in the company and of course you'll be looking for improvement managers find this very very easy to use using this system as it's very very clear for them to do so. The next area is competencies. Now what we're looking for here is to identify the key competencies with each job. Our example, the first one is working with teams and the units that make up that competency are delivering results and quality, analyzing and problem solving, continuous improvement and interpersonal skills. Now if we take the first one, delivering results and quality, all the manager has to do 
is to put the cursor onto the slide and adjust what they think the competency level is for that particular individual. The manager does that for each of the units for each competence and then moves on to the next competence which shown here is leadership. Once that has been completed you then get a average competency level at the bottom for all of the competencies that are looked at and we recommend these should not be more than six key competencies per employee. This makes the task realistic and achievable. Sitting behind this screen is a very very clever piece of software where presets are put in place so anybody scoring below 70 would automatically be identified for training or remedial work on that particularly, particular unit of the competence. So if we look at competence 2, leadership, the first one, forward planning, we can see that the employee has scored here 60%. So on that particular unit, forward planning, they are 60%. The preset we have on this particular company is a minimum standard of 70. So this employee is 10% short on this particular unit. That would automatically throw this up as a training need and a training needs requirement would be automatically generated thus avoiding costly training needs analysis on behalf of the training department. And of course it's very precise. You have the employee's name, you have the employee's supervisor or manager, you have the exact piece of training that is required which is forward planning. And at the bottom as I said earlier you have the total level of comp competence for that employee. Moving on to the summary sheet we always check here that the um, job description is up to date, it's a simple yes or no required for that and then finally the summary which was achieved. Now this summary can be split into two pieces, you can either measure competence and performance separate or you can combine them and here we have a average summary for competence and performance showing 73% because this is on a linear scale 1 to 100 it is very easy and we can do this automatically to translate the score into requirements for bonus payments. Finally we have the appraiser's comments and any other training which may not have been captured during this particular appraisal. So there we have the form, it's very very simple, fully automated and we then a year later go back and measure what was done and what the score was. So once the appraisal system is set up it just rolls year after year. As I said at the beginning all of the information because it's on a linear scale is very very easy to manage collate and project so we can provide a full statistical package for what is happening in your business. Thank you for taking the time to listen and look and we hope that you'll contact us for further information.